Hello, my lovely Red Mare crew. I have been talking lately about horses and mental health and how to turn your own horse into a therapy horse. And I just, I love this idea. And the awful thing is, <laughs> I have so many ideas about this and I can't remember what I spoke about in the last video. So I'm very much hoping I'm not going to be repeating myself. Um, but then I do often repeat myself and I've learned to be at peace with that as I've got older. It's partly because there's a little bit of menopause brain goes on. So I have a hundred ideas racing around in my head at all times, but I can't quite remember which one I've spoken to which person about. As my friends are very good that they accept that they will be told the same story twice. Um, and it is lucky that I inherited a good sense of humour from my dad, because otherwise I think I might find that a little bit upsetting. As it is, I just think it's quite funny. And people are very understanding. Um, so, what I was thinking of today, and I'm just going to go on instinct and what I'm thinking about today, is the nature of being rather than doing. And I think that a lot of us in this modern world are very intensely focused on and invested in doing. And we do stuff and we get rewards for that stuff and we can show that stuff. You know, look what I did. You can't really say to somebody, look what I'm being, but look what I did. Look what I am. That just sounds weird. But look what I did. Look what I did with my horse. And then tell me I'm marvellous, please. And then tell me again. And in a way, the problem with that is, although it's lovely being told you're marvellous, it's lovely doing something lovely with your horse and getting congratulated for it. Um, but the problem is that that fades. It's a little dopamine hit. It's what they, you know, put in the Google notifications. It's fleeting. And so then you're looking for the next one. Tell me my horse is marvellous again. Look what I did again. And if you do something, then you have to do something even more brilliant. And in the end, it's never quite enough, is it, Flo? No, no, no. It's never quite enough. So one of the things that I try and teach myself to do, and I'm not always successful with this, because I have moments of requiring external validation, but I try and think more about what I can be and what my horses can be what I can be when I'm with my horse. Am I steady and calm and forgiving and unjudgmental and patient and empathetic? And I can do all those things without lifting a finger. I can just stand here and let them feel my patience, my love, my understanding, my respect for them. They can feel that. Because as I think all those things, the energy in me will change, the, my nervous system will change, uh, my muscle set will change. They'll read it in my body, even if she's not looking at me now because she's really eating. Uh, but she'll feel it rolling off me. In the same way, if I come down thinking we've got to do something, she'll feel that too. I would say that, you know, with that kind of emotion, they feel it like they feel a storm coming. So, for long-term happiness and equilibrium and just general well-being in the head, I think if you start just thinking about your mission being the being rather than the doing, that shift in perspective will take so much pressure off you and will give you so much consistent and long-term satisfaction rather than those little dopamine hits of look what I did, look what I did. This is my theory. Oh, what she seen. And it really works for me. I'm very tired today. I've been having some menopause insomnia. It's just a thing you get when you're my age. And it's a real bore. 
and I do not function well on four hours sleep, which is what I got last night. So um, the lovely thing is that I don't have to scold myself because I'm just coming and hanging out with these horses and I'm not tacking her up and I'm not schooling her because I've given myself the gift of being rather than doing. That means that I don't have to compound my tiredness by lacerating myself for, you know, not doing anything with her. We're just chilling and hanging, aren't we? We're just being. We're being. It's all very Eastern. I think that's Eastern, is it? Kind of Buddhist. Oh my God, my ignorance sometimes. Anyway, um, weirdly, I've slightly cheered myself up because um, I find this whole video is quite amusing uh, because it's so sort of muddly, really, isn't it, darling? But I do think there's truth in there and I hope that you get something from it and I hope that that shift in perspective will make you happier and make your horse happier. Yeah.